あイネさんイネさんリオさん I'm alright but ハズキ先生 My father? Stay back, Mio. For the last time, where is the mirror? I've no intention of telling you.
keep friends. Those you love close to you. Uh, no. Father. No! Suzuki Sensei. Son, you should still be resting. Uh, I'm fine, really. And you? Are you alright? Mm, yes, but I must keep busy, otherwise I'll get depressed. I understand. But you needn't work too hard. Mm, yes. Oh, by the way, I have this for you. This is for today. From tomorrow, I'll leave it on top of the shoe cabinet every day. Do you know where Fuxan is? Fukara-san? I believe he's in the dojo. Really? Thanks. Son, is everything okay? Don't worry, I'm fine. I want to ask you about that man. Oh, that man. Uh, the man called Landy. What did he talk with my father about? Landy demanded the mirror, and then they threw me out of the dojo. The black suits catch the names. I don't know. They came out of nowhere. I see. Thanks, Fukusa. If you remember anything at all, be sure to tell me. Ryo-san! Why? What you gonna do? Ryo-san! Where are you going? You're not going after them! Please, don't! Look what they did to Hazuki-sensei! They killed my father, right in front of me. 
I will have my revenge. I need to do this for my father. Hmm? Hey, Joe! Hi, Megumi. Uh, uh... You got a kitten in there? You promise not to tell my mommy? Sure. Okay, then I'll show you. Is this your kitten? Uh-uh. But this kitty, see? She's all alone. All alone? Yep. See, the other day, when it rained, a car ran over her mommy. My big sister saw it. She said it was a big black car. A black car? Yeah, and she said it was really scary. And then me and sis, we buried the mommy cat. And so now, I can be the kitty's mommy. But mommy says we can't keep the kitten at home. So you're going to keep her here? Yeah, everybody's helping out too. Like Kota, Yasuo, and Kayo. I see. Kitty don't look so good. Think she's hungry? Hmm. Wait a second. Okay. Do this, so it's easier to eat. Hmm? Wow, she's eating! She's so tiny, but already an orphan. It's so sad! Yamagishi-san almost got ran over too! Yamagishi-san? Yeah, the car was going so fast, he got shocked and fell! hurt his backside so now he stays home all day. When I go to the candy shop, I always stop by to visit him. Yeah, it's close by there. Megumi, you need to be careful around cars too. Yes. Well, I've got to go now. But wait, we gotta think of a name for the kitty. Oh, well, when I think of a good one, I'll let you know. You promise? Bye-bye, Dio! Bye-bye. Um... Oh, hello, Dio! Kondo-san, the day of the incident, did you see any men in black suits? The day of the incident? You mean the day it thundered, right? I didn't see them. I see. Did anything unusual happen around here that day? Not that I'm aware of. But you know, Sumia-san knows about everything that goes on around here. It'd be good if you tried asking Sumia-san. I see. Yamagashi-san. Oh, it's you, Ryo. How is your back? Yes, it's much better. But how did you know? I heard from someone in the neighborhood that you almost got ran over by a car. Well, it must have been Megumi or Sumiya-san who told you. That driver was insane. Could you tell me about what happened with that car? Sure. This black car came flying around the corner over by Sakura Gaoka Park and went towards uh, Dubuita. A black car? Did you see the license plate number? Maybe, if there hadn't been any snow. And to make matters worse, I fell over. So I never had the chance. Oh, well I'm glad to hear you're okay. Nozomi. Ryo, 
Have things settled down for you any? Yeah. If there's anything I can do, be sure to let me know. Yeah. Did you happen to see a black car that day? A black car? Yeah, it wasn't the kind of car usually seen around here. You know, a car like that splashed mud on me when it sped past. Really? Yeah. Did you see who was in the car? No, I didn't. It was too fast. But I heard a rumor that Tom had an argument with the people in the car. Do you mean Tom at the hot dog truck? Yeah. Why are you asking about that car? No reason. See you later. Rio. Hmm? Cheer up, will ya? Yeah. See you. Tom. Hey, Rio! Tell me about those men in the black car. What? Nozomi told me you had words with the guys driving the black car. No, no, I don't remember. They might have been the ones who murdered my father. Your father? Please try to think. All right, man, I'll try. Those guys in the black car, what were they like? I saw a guy wearing this weird coat. What kind of coat? It was a deep green, maybe velvet or silk, like something Chinese. That's Landy. What happened? They almost hit one of my customers, so I gave them a piece of my mind. But that man, he gave me this glare. I ain't never seen such a cold stare, man. Do you remember anything else? Nope. Try asking Chinese people about Chinese. Do you know any Chinese? Sorry, man. But see that travel agency over there? They get some Chinese customers. I'll ask around for you too, man. Come by later. Sure. Tao-san. Yes? Are there any other Chinese people around here? Why do you want to know about other Chinese? Uh, nothing, really. Is it something to do with what happened to your father? Yes. Oh, no. Not all Chinese people are bad. I understand that. But the only clue I have is that they were Chinese. Please. Is there anything you could tell me? You say Chinese people around here? But there's quite a lot of them compared to before. We don't really know the newcomers. I see. Why don't you tell him about the Three Blades? Oh, the Three Blades. Three Blades? What are the Three Blades? It literally refers to three different blades that represent three different trades. The barber, the tailor, and the cook. They all use bladed tools. The barber uses a razor. The tailor uses scissors. And the cook uses knives. Ah, I get it. Most of the Chinese who came to Japan were one of the three. It doesn't cost much to set up. So you can start the business quickly. People of the Three Blades also know each other very well. It's a good idea to ask them if you're looking for information on people from China. Who are some of the Three Blade people around here? For the barber, visit Maeda-san. For the tailor, see Itoi-san, who's making patches now. For the cook, go and ask Mampu Cook and Namen. The Three Blade people should know about other Chinese people as well. Oh, there's also another barber shop, the Liu Barber and Hair Salon. But, but Liu Sun's father is in the hospital now. His family's having a hard time. The shop's been closed recently. So, I should go and speak with Maeda San, Itoi San, and Man Pukuken Ramen, right? Yes. I see. Thank you very much.
Um, yes. Can you tell me about the three blades? Sure can. There's the barber Maeda-san, the tailor of the patch shop Itoi-san, and the cook at the Manpukuken. Oh, and another barber at Liu Barber and Hair Salon. But their shop's not open. So we've got Maeda-san, Itoi-san, and Manpukuken Ramen. You got it? Yeah, thanks. Excuse me. Hi. I'm searching for members of the Three Blades. The Three Blades? Ryo, how come you know about them? Tao-san from Ajiichi told me. He said I should ask you about them. Is that so? Will you help me, Maida-san? Sure, of course. Go down past the hamburger place. You mean Funny Bear Burgers? Just past the vegetable stand. Yeah. There is a barber shop down there called Liu Barber and Hair Salon. A Chinese couple runs it. They're a Three Blades barber shop. Tao Sun told me it's closed. Yeah. I hear their grandfather was hospitalized, but he's set to be discharged within the next couple of days. Perhaps today even. Is that so? Well, I'll try there. You, son. Hello. Welcome. How would you like your hair today? I'm not here for a haircut. I came to ask about people from China. And you are? I'm Yo Hazuki of the Hazuki Dojo in Yamanose. Hazuki-san? Darling, you saw it in the paper on that snowy day. Ah, I understand you've gone through a lot. I'm looking for a Chinese man who goes by the name Lan Di. Tao Sun and the others of the Three Blades said that perhaps you'd know. So, Tao Sun referred you to us. Well, I'm a second generation Chinese, so I don't think I can be of much help. Maybe they meant your father. Oh, I see. He is... My father's 80 years old. He owned a shop in Yokohama from before the war. Maybe he knows. He's been in hospital for the flu and was just discharged yesterday. He's been through a lot, so we've kept it closed for a while. Is he all right? Oh, he's much better now. Perhaps he's exercising in Suzume Park. Suzume Park? He walks once around Obuita and eats at the Soba restaurant every day. Thank you very much. I'll try there. Um, are you to you, son? Yes, I am. And you? My name is Dio Hazuki, from the Hazuki Dojo in Yamanose. Ah, I've heard what happened to your father. My condolences. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a Chinese man who calls himself Lan Di. Three Blades members like Ajiichi's Tao Sun suggested that perhaps you might know. Ah, you know of the Three Blades. I know it refers to the three professions, barbers, cooks, and tailors. That it does. Did you know that the proud elite of these professions were also imperial bodyguards? protecting emperors from assassinations with their razors, knives, and scissors. About Landy, I gather by his name that he is most likely a member of a Chinese black market cartel, or perhaps even the Chinese mafia. Would they be here in Yokosuka? They have developed a base in the harbor to bypass customs and expand their activities. Try asking some of the sailors in the vicinity. They're bound to know more. Sailors? I'll look for some. Thank you very much. Good luck. Nemoto-san. Ah, hello, Ryo. Do you ever see sailors around here? I often see them after it gets dark. They come in here sometimes. Big, tough-looking guys. They come to buy flowers? Yeah, 
with stupid sounding messages like love always on the cards. Presents for the ladies, eh? But then where do they go? Well, I'd figure they go to the bars to pick up women. Excuse me. Oh, hey, Rio. I can't serve you alcohol, but uh, have a seat. Thanks. How about a cola? Sure. So, what's up? Saijo-san, do you know any places where sailors like to hang out around here? You say sailors, but you don't mean just any sailor, do you? Right. Try the MJQ Jazz Bar or Heartbeats Bar. Is that where they go? But you best be careful. I hear they run with a dangerous crowd. Any guys with tattoos on their arms? You'll probably find guys like that there. That's all right. Get out of my way. What? Go home! Oh, hey, you! guys sailors? Maybe. I'm looking for sailors who work with Chinese ships. What are you, some kind of TV detective or something? Back off. You little punk. You looking for some of this? You stupid! That's enough. You put on quite a show, boy. I'm looking for info about a Chinese cartel. I'll tell you. What? In return, you don't show your face here again. Okay. Look for a guy named Charlie. Charlie? He deals in smuggled goods. He's well known in the underworld. He should know about the Chinese cartel. Where is he? He loves his hog. Try asking at the motorcycle shop nearby. What's he look like? He always wears shades and a black leather jacket. And he's got a tattoo on his arm. A tattoo on his arm? Enough talk. Now get out. Luo-san, you're home. Oh, hi, ine -san. I was worried because it was getting late. Don't worry. I'll always be home by 11 o'clock. I do not wish to nag you, but... Yes, I understand. Sleeping in bed, farmers are working hard in the fields, carefully picking carrots one by one. So how can you waste them like that? Okay, I'll eat them.
Good. <laughs> That's my boy. Dear Ryo, those who follow the path of a warrior must be ready to die in order to stand by their convictions, live for one's convictions, die for one's convictions. That is how I lived my life. Ryo, it is up to you to discover your path and follow it through. Fuxa. Practicing the move name Pitblow. Ah, for my first three years here, Sensei had me practice only the basics. One must know the fundamentals to reveal the essence. As my father used to say. Yes, but... But Sensei is no longer here to teach me. He's gone. And I still have so many bad habits. Say, Ryo-san! Would you mind showing me the right way to do it? Sure, why not? Okay, I'll go first. Take a look at my form and let me know what's wrong. As I take one step forward, I tense my arm, then strike. Out! Oh. Fuxa. Uh, I'm okay. Your real son, can you show me how to do it right? Sure, but I'm not as good as father was. That looks good! The next part's important. Shift in one continuous motion. As you step forward, strike. But I'm not as good as father was. I attacked way too late. That was great! Your technique is so much better than mine. Completely different from mine. My father and I trained for a long time. Sensei always told me that this was the most important basic technique. So, would you like to practice some more? Sure, this is a good time to practice. Okay, let's keep going. I forgot to move. I attacked way too late. Shall we continue? No, that's enough. Really? Well, if you ever feel like sparring, just ask. 
I'll be here. Thanks, Fukasan. Yeah, but be careful when playing in the road. Okay. Wait up, Yasuo. Wait for me. Stop it. Who do you think you are? That's Nozomi's voice. Well, aren't we brave? You must not know who we are, eh? I don't care who you think you are. You can't threaten little kids. So you think you're pretty tough, eh? This little brat just hit my pal in the face with that toy. So we're going to teach him a lesson. Can't you just leave him alone? He's just a kid. Hey, you're kind of cute, babe. Wouldn't you like to party with us? Get away from don't me. Don't fight it, babe. We'll be gentle. Don't you dare lay a finger on me. This will be fun. Nisomi. Ryo. What? Are you looking for a fight? Any time. Were you? Both of you, stay away from her, understood? Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh. Thank you, Ryo. Thanks, Ryo. Nozomi, you've got to be more careful. They were going to hurt him. I know, but you can't reason with those guys. But... Okay. Kurita-san. Yo, how are ya? Do you know a man named Charlie? Huh? Charlie? Wears a black leather jacket, sunglasses, and has a tattoo on his arm. I see that guy out in front of the shop sometimes. Always ragging my merchandise like he'd ever buy anything. <laughs> when does this Charlie come around? He usually heads over this way after hitting the jacket shop. You know, man, guys like that almost always look around without buying anything. I see. Excuse me? Hey! I'm looking for a guy named Charlie. Charlie? What's he like? He always wears a black leather jacket and sunglasses. Has a tattoo on his arm. Ah! You know him? There's this guy who's always whining about our jackets. Like he knows what he's talking about. Always showing off his tattoo. I see. 
about that guy with the tattoo? Yeah, he came by four or five days ago. Ugly as the worst sin. Always showing off his tattoo. What a loser. Know where I can find him? Nah, I wouldn't know and don't care. Sorry, I can't be of more help. I see. Yuriko-san. Oh, Ryo. Do you know a guy named Charlie? I know him. He wears sunglasses and a leather jacket, right? Wait a minute, Ryo. You're not going to get into a fight, are you? No, I just... I don't like to see you getting into fights, Ryo. But I suppose I wouldn't mind if someone beat up that jerk Charlie. I see. Yamagashi-san. Oh, Ryo. What are you doing here? I was having a drink with your father. With my father? Well, you may not believe it, but I've been training in Kobujutsu for many years. I used to spar with your father. After our workouts, we always drank sake together. By the way, have you ever learned this move? Huh? Watch. Yamagashi-san, what move is that? It's an ancient technique that I once taught to Iwao. To my father. Martial arts masters often exchange techniques. Just as your father and I did. We were very good friends. It must be fate that you came here. I want to teach you this move. How about it? Please teach me. Well, there's no time like the present. I'll teach you right here, right now. It's a move from Kobujutsu called Double Blow. I'll show you the footwork first, so watch carefully. Take one step forward and build up your energy, then strike with your arms and legs at the same time. This is the double blow. Now you try. First, quickly shift your weight forward. Good. That's the way. Then as you move forward, you extend your arms and legs as you strike with your palms. Now, try it again. You extended your arms much too late. You're moving too much. Well, excellent. You have managed to learn it rather quickly, I see. Thank you. The double blow was developed during the 16th century. It's a very powerful technique and if done properly, the blow can be felt even through armor. Do you want to practice some more to make sure you've mastered it? Yes, please. Good. Training always pays off. Let us continue.
Well, if you're not happy with your form, why not practice a bit more? No, I think I've got it. I see. Well, I'm not getting any younger. I'm glad that I could teach you while I'm still able. You're still very young. Work hard, and you will surpass even your father. Yes. Thank you very much. Someday, I'd like us to drink sake together. Me too. I look forward to that day. Got a minute? Hey, what's up? I want to ask you about that guy, Charlie. Oh, that low life. That guy walks around Dobry dead night like he owns the place. Where? You know the military surplus shop, right? And the Yokosuka jacket shop? I hear he's a real pain down there. Right. Yo, pal! What's up? Hey, I know you. Nah, let me apologize for before. What? You know, you're a good fighter. I was impressed. So? I'm looking for a guy named Charlie. Charlie? <laughs> yeah, he's a friend of mine. Really? Yeah, you don't trust people, do ya? Come on, I'll take you to meet him. Come on, tough guy! Show us what you got! So, do you know Charlie? I... I don't know any Charlie! Where'd you get the tattoo? Okinawa! I'm not lying, but there's a tattoo parlor in Yokosuka too! A friend told me about it! Where's the tattoo parlor? I don't know! You've gotta believe me! Ono-san. Hey, Ryo! Do you know of any tattoo parlors around here? Tat? Oh, right, tattoos. I heard there was a shop like that around here. Really? Do you know where it is? No idea. Oh, I know some of the bikers who come here sometimes have tattoos on their arms. Why don't you ask them? Where can I find them? I see them a lot in the arcade. The arcade? Thanks. Um, what you want? I'd like to ask you about your tattoo. You interested in tattoos? Yeah, this tattoo's our gang symbol. Where'd you get it? At the best tattoo artist around. Where's that tattoo parlor? By the look of those arms, you look like you can hold your own in a fight. I'll tell you what you want to know, if... You'll join our gang. All right. If you mean it, go get the tattoo. The shop's in Okayama Heights. I trust you can find it yourself. Give 
me something tough, so no one'll mess with me. Yeah, <laughs> like that schoolboy. Shut up! He kicked your butt too. That schoolboy. Huh? It's him! Uh, uh, oh, I'm no. out of here! Have you come for a tattoo? I'm looking for a guy named Charlie. He's over there. He's sleeping. Wouldn't wake him, unless you want to get hurt. I want to know about the cartel. I don't know! Why do you want to know? That's none of your business. Just tell me! Okay, let me go! I'll tell you! I'll arrange for you to meet some of them, okay? You didn't need to rip my arm off. Okay, so when? Tomorrow at three. Wait at the arcade. I have your word? Yeah. You know what I'll do if you don't show. Nozomi, what are you doing here? Class just got out. You shouldn't be around here. But I was looking for you. Oh? My friend said she saw you down here. But why? Today we had our college orientation, but you weren't there. Yeah. Have you decided where to go? Not yet, but if I go, it'll have karate. It's about time you started studying for the entrance exams. Yeah, I know. I'm worried about you. And with exams... I'll be fine. Ryo, I understand what you're going through with your father and all, but... We can talk about it later. Promise? Yeah, it's dangerous here. You should go home. See you later. Father, I promise to avenge you. Yosan, let's spar for a bit, huh? It's been a while. All right. Let's go. It's been a while since we practiced together. I feel much better now. Have you found something? I've got a lead on the Chinese cartel. Are they the same ones who, who killed Hazuki-sensei? I don't know yet. You're not thinking of going after them alone, are you? You go up against those killers? It's my only option. I know how you feel, but it's too dangerous. Even Sensei couldn't. I've made up my mind. But what if something happens to you? I feel responsible. Don't worry about me. No. Ryo-san, is that why you started training? 
Oh, please. I'm begging you. Please take it over. My mind is made up. I must go. Real <coughs> son. Inesa, you overheard? Please don't pursue this, Ryo-san. I have to. Please step aside. I'm begging you. Respect Hazuki Sensei's will and look after the dojo. I can't believe my father killed someone. Ryo-san. Please wait. There's something I must give to you. A letter? To my father? This came right after Hazuki Sensei passed away. I had a bad feeling about it, so I felt I should... Keep it hidden until today. This letter's in Chinese. But why? Because I didn't want you to do anything foolish and risk your life. And because I don't want you to upset the spirit of your father. Please, make a promise to me. Inesa. Please, I need you to promise me. Yes, I promise. Thank you, your son. Your son, what were you talking about with Ine's son? Well... Is that a letter? In Chinese? Is it from the man who murdered Sensei? I don't know. Damn it! If only we knew someone who reads Chinese! Yamagashi san. Oh, it's you, Ryo. Do you know anybody who can read Chinese? Chinese? You know, that reminds me. I learned a bit when I was in the army. Well, I was ordered to learn it. So can you read it? No, no. That was so long ago. I've forgotten it all by now. You'd be better off asking the owner of Ajiichi. Yeah? Go away. Come on, let's play. Next time, okay? I'm kind of busy now. By the way, Go away. You're Chinese, aren't you? Yep. I'm looking for somebody who can read a letter written in Chinese. My grandmother can. Your grandmother? About your grandmother? Her name is Sha Shouli. She's real nice. Where is she? At the shop. Shop? What shop? She sells dishes and stuff. Um, it's called Roshia. You mean Roshia China Shop, right? Right. It has a white door. I'll go see her. Thanks. help you? Excuse me, are you Xiaosun? Yes, that's right. And you are? I'm Ryo Hazuki. Ah, uh, Hazuki-san? Oh yes, my grandson. Go and told me. Thank you very much. 
Mm -hmm. You helped him at Sakura Gaoka. Oh, I remember. He was so excited when he told me. He now aspires to grow strong and brave, just like you. It was nothing, really. <laughs> so, what brings you here? Well, I have a letter I'd like you to translate. Okay. Reversed kanji. Reversed? Yes, but they aren't just reversed left to right. They're written in a special style. Could you read it for me? Yes, of course. Beware of those who pursue the mirror. If you ever need help, seek the aid of Master Chen. Ju Yuan Da. Ju Yong Da. Master Chen? Oh, there's something written on the back, too. Tian Ji Fu, Jiao Tao Long, Ti Ji Mu, Wo Da Yo. What does it mean? Father's Heaven, Nine Dragons, Mother's Earth, Comrades. I'm sorry, it doesn't make sense. I understand. But I think this part may be a phone number. These ancient characters are numbers. A phone number? Yes. 04686156464. right? I've got it. Thank you very much. Dragons. Warehouse number eight. Warehouse number eight? You. Who are you? Isn't this the Chen residence? Oops. That's warehouse number eight. Hi, Hirata-san. Ah, hi there, yo. Do you know where warehouse number eight is? What? Firehouse number eight? No, warehouse number eight. Don't believe I've ever heard of it before. I have the phone number, but... Well then, why don't you try looking in the phone book? The address might be listed. Yeah. Sixty one, sixty one. Got it, sixty one. It's an Amihama. Tom, hi, Rio. Can you tell me the way to Amihama? Sha, the harbor, right? Take a bus from the main street straight down there. I see. 
thanks. Just who are you? Don't you know that blackmail is way uncool? Thinks you stuff, eh? Eh, Yo Hazuki from Suka High. <laughs> Hazuki? Yeah? So what? I ain't afraid of him. I can take this geek. You're no match for me. Hurrah! Dorosan! <laughs> hey! Hey, you! Wait! Damn! Oh, you've had it now! Ouch! Oh! Oh! Pretty tough after all! What? What? I have a question. Sure, what is it? Warehouse number eight? Where is it? Yeah, yeah. Down the street, there's a new warehouse district. Turn right, and number eight should be there. So it's straight, and to the right. That's it. Well, uh, time for us to go. Wait a minute. This is a prohibited area. Get out now. I wonder if there's another way in. I hear voices. Is someone there? When you look at this invoice, the address is wrong. So it is. I've asked them a million times to get it right. Yeah, it says right here, Old Warehouse District. What are they thinking? Can you call over to the Old Warehouse Number 8? Okay, got it. So there's another Warehouse Number 8. I'll need to find the Old Warehouse District. Excuse me. Huh? Do you know where the old warehouse district is? Um, I think that's over way down toward the end of the harbor. You won't miss it if you walk along the waterfront. Okay, thanks. Excuse me? Yes? What is it? Do you know anything about the old warehouse district? Not 
Not really. There aren't any decent-looking men there. You don't say. The security guards are crude and nasty, always staring at my ass when I walk by. Once, when I stopped near the entrance to read a sign, one said, "Stop looking, move on." Is that so? What's inside here? It's quite heavy. There's a lot of stuff here. I wonder what it's used for. Lots of pots in here. What kind of box is this? Ah! Who's there? Wait, Guizang. What? Master Chen. Master Chen? You are the young man who has called? Yes, Ryo Hazuki. This says, if you ever need help, seek the aid of Master Chen. May I look at the letter? Sure. Yes, this is Zhu's handwriting. But it appears this letter arrived too late. Yes. This Zhu Yonda, how does he know my father? Zhu and your father brought back a certain mirror from China. The mirror? The one that man stole? It was stolen. Yes, the man who killed my father, Lan Di. Lan Di. Do you know him? Well, I know of him. An organization called Qi Yao Men. Its leader goes by that name. I hear he's a master of a deadly martial art. Yes, he used a style I've never seen. I think we mean the same person. What does this mean? Please tell me why my father. You needn't tell this boy anything, father. Father? No, I'm bound by my promise to Zhu Yuanda regarding this boy's father. But. But was only one mirror stolen? Huh? I'm asking if only one mirror was stolen. Yes, made of stone, a dragon design. If so, then there's one more. I believe the phoenix mirror. Phoenix? A mythical bird of Chinese legend that guards human life. That mirror? My house? Perhaps. Find it. And then we'll talk. Yes, when I do, I'll return. From now on, telephone beforehand, and remember the password. Um, Inesan. Yes. What is it? Well, about that day, have you remembered anything? No, and I do not want to think about it. I get chills thinking about it even now. Oh. By the way, Fukuhara-san was looking for you. Huh? Fukuhara-san is. Huh? 
Um, Ryosan, I... What is it, Fuxa? I'm sorry. I told Ine-san. What did you tell her? I told her what you're doing. I told her everything I know. You what? I just couldn't help myself. And Ine-san needed to know. Fuxa... I'm really sorry. It's okay. Fuxa, do you know anything about the Phoenix Mirror? The Phoenix Mirror? My father may have had it. No, I've never heard him say anything about a mirror. Really? Ine-san might know something about it, though. Okay, let's go ask her. Ah, Ine-san. Son talks very loud, doesn't he? Huh? I just heard the two of you talking. We were talking? Yes, I'm sorry. It was rude of me to eavesdrop. Oh, it's okay. No, it wasn't. But then who could tell the son of Iwao Hazuki to stay out of trouble? I hate to say it, but I feel like I'm letting your father down. I... I'm sorry for making you worry so much. Ryo-san, I don't know if this will help or not. But there was one thing I recall. It wasn't that long ago when Azuki sensei went to an antique shop to have something stored for him. My father did what? I don't know what it was, but he said it was very important. Antique shop. Ryo! Nozomi. Making any progress? Yeah, I found something my father left for me. Your father? Yeah, see you later. Yeah. Excuse me. Oh. That's a delightful sound, don't you agree? It was made especially for that butterfly woman. You know Madam Butterfly, don't you? You, your Hazuki Sensei's... Oh my, that was a terrible thing, your father. Ah, I was holding something at Sensei's request. Hmm, just where did I put it, huh? Oh yes, it was very important. So I put it here. He'd asked me to polish and look after it for him. For my father? It's given to the Hazuki heirs once they turn 18. I gather this antique has been passed down from generation to generation. Father. If there's anything I can do for you, please let me know. Hazuki Sensei was always there for me when I needed him. Was there anything else that he asked you to hold for him? Anything else? Like a mirror, called the Phoenix Mirror. A Phoenix Mirror? Hmm... Sorry, I don't know of any mirror. Well, that's okay. Thank you very much.
No way! You're working with Landy? If I was... Why, you... Continue, then I'll fail as your bodyguard. A bodyguard? Father told me to guard you. What? Calm down. If you don't live, it'll be a problem for us. What you mean? You still don't realize your role, do you? If Lan Di gets that mirror, no one can stop him. Hurry and find that mirror. Before they suspect anything. <laughs> Landy Sama, the Phoenix Mirror? <laughs> <laughs> Books are. Yes? This was at the antique shop for me. Let's see. It's a sword handguard. Yeah. It was my father's. It's a part of my inheritance. I see. Have you seen this before? Like this design. It might be a family crest. Have you asked Inesan? No, not yet. Well, you should ask her. You're right. I think she's in the altar room. Thanks. This was at the antique shop. A sword handguard. Inesan, do you know anything about this? The snow ring, the two stars, and a sword. That's the Hazuki family crest. And that mirror you're looking for, I wonder if there's a connection. Maybe your father left us a clue. Snow ring, two stars, one sword. Thanks. It won't open. It seems to be locked. That shape, why is that here? What does it mean, that shape? Okay. Folks on. Real son, about that family heirloom from Hazuki Sensei. The sword handguard? I've seen the family crest on it before. In the dojo. Where? Yeah, on that wooden box in the dojo. 
Is there anything in the box? Don't you know, Ryo-san? No. I think there must be something pretty important in there. Is there? Fuk-san. Ryo-san, that wooden box in the dojo? It's locked! It was probably something of Sensei's. My father's? What's this? Maybe this key will open that box. I'm going to borrow this for a while. Yeah, it opened. This sword, it has... I'll leave this here. Why is that here? What's this slot for? Okay. So it was a switch. I wonder if there are any clues here. Even a starving eagle never steals. Like my father always said, never cheat even during a struggle. It says, all good deeds shall be rewarded. Did my father write it? Huh? That wall, the color's slightly different. Can I break the wall with his axe? Ha! Ha! This is the Hazuki family crest. This box! Got it! It's the Phoenix Mirror.
Ryo-san, you found the mirror? So that's the Phoenix mirror? It's kind of creepy, eh? I feel like it's pulling me in. Ryo... Ryo-san, stop it, please! You think it could be cursed? No, I don't think it's cursed. Uh huh? I have a feeling about it, but I can't explain. Hey, see what I mean? That's dangerous! Are you possessed? Folks, uh, get real, would you? What? I'm serious! Enough. Give me some time alone, okay? Uh, sure. I should take this mirror to Master Chen. Hello? Mother's Earth. Comrades. Father's Heaven. Nine Dragons. Warehouse number eight. Master Chen, please. Excuse me, but you are... My name is Hazuki. Just a moment. What is it? Yeah, I found the mirror. I'll tell my father. Come to warehouse number eight. Sure. Hey, wait! Excuse me, uh... I need to meet Master Chen. What's your name? Dio Hazuki. I've been expecting you, sir. Please, go on in. Ah, the Phoenix Mirror. Yes, it's made of Phantom River Stone. Why did Landy only steal the Dragon Mirror? He probably didn't realize your father had both of them. Two mirrors. A long time ago, Chu Yuanda once told me, when the dragon and the phoenix meet, the gates of heaven and earth will open, and Chi Yu will resurrect itself on earth. Chi Yu? It's a legendary Chinese monster that will devour this world of ours. It appears Lan Di will try to make use of both mirrors. What will he try? That even I don't know, but you mustn't allow him to get that mirror. Be careful and stay alert. If he finds that mirror, it will be the end of you. What the? Hey! Two mirrors! Landy Sama will be pleased! Gui Cheng! Oh! Hazuki! Push that button! With this, I can join the Chi Yu Men! Thanks. Is it the work of the Mad Angels? Mad Angels? We always have trouble with that gang. Those dirty bastards. That thing was probably connected to the Chi Yo Men. The Chi Yu Men? Yes, the Chi Yo Men and Mad Angels are linked. 
Perhaps they are the ones who guided Landi here. So, if I find the Mad Angels, I'll find Landi. Nah, he's likely not here anymore. Then where did he go? Well, maybe he has already gone to Hong Kong. Hong Kong? I have a request. Request? What is it? Please help me get to Hong Kong. If so, then what? I'll find Landi. And then... And then he'll kill you. He's too strong. What did you say? Stop it. I must avenge my father's murder. <laughs> How admirable. But you don't stand a chance. Well, if it was you... Suppose your father was murdered. What would you do? Please, help me. I'm sorry, but I can't. Let's go, Guizhang. Master Chen, please wait. You should not waste your life on revenge. The Chi Yo men? And Landi? Seems he left for Hong Kong. Hong Kong? Guess Hong Kong's out. Fuxa, you know of any cheap travel agencies? Yeah, there's one in Dabuita, but... Dabuita, hmm. Why you wanna know? I'm thinking of going to Hong Kong. Huh? Hong Kong? Yeah. It appears that Landi went there. But wh what will you tell Ines-san? I'll persuade her. Not alone you won't. I'll help you. Ines-san, do you have a minute? Yes, what is it? I know it's sudden, but I'm thinking of going on a trip. A trip? Yes. <laughs> Good. You could use a vacation. Oh, yeah. Where are you thinking of going? Hong Kong. Hong Kong? Fuxa. It seems the man who killed Hazuki Sensei is there. Inesan, please give him the money for the trip. Idiot. What are you planning to do, Ryo-san? Oh, nothing. Nothing? This is crazy. I can't let you do this. Well, he has to get there somehow, Ine-san. I'm not listening. ine -san. End of discussion. 
Uh, huh? Thanks a lot. What? What did I do? You didn't have to tell her everything. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to do this by myself. Ah, please come in. Hello, a vacation? Yes, to Hong Kong. Hong Kong? Well then, have a seat. Are you a student? Yes. With a student discount about... 220,000 yen. Wow. Is there a cheaper one? A one-way fare? I'm afraid we don't sell one-way tickets. The ticket alone's about 198,000. Really? I'll come back. Here, why don't you take this pamphlet with you? Think about it, and if you're interested, come back. Okay, thanks. Please come again. I'll go home and talk it over with Fuxan. The Hong Kong Fair. Pretty expensive, eh? Just a moment. Ryo-san. What's that? This here is my savings. I want you to have it. Fuxan. Well, I... I really want to help you out. It's not much, but... Don't hesitate. Smash it open. Are you sure? Yeah. There should be a lot, but... Mm, well, one, two, three... Uh, 39,634 yen. Ah, oh, that's still not enough. Yeah, right. Ah, I got an idea. Ida Florist. Ida Florist? Nozomi's place? Yeah, she travels overseas a lot. Maybe she'll have a better idea. Good idea. I'll go ask her. Okay. Nozomi. Ryo. What is it? When you go to Canada, do you always fly? Yeah, usually. Why do you want to know? I'm looking for a cheap way to travel overseas. You're going overseas? Yeah. You know I can only afford about 70,000 yen. 70,000? To where? I'm trying to go to Hong Kong. For a trip to Hong Kong? I doubt that's possible. But I only need to get there. Oh, well then, how about going by boat? By boat? Whenever Grandma goes to Canada with us, we gotta travel by boat. Really? Why? Yeah, cause she hates airplanes. Oh, but that's a secret, okay? Yeah. You might be able to find a boat ticket for a fairly cheap price. Yeah, maybe. Thanks. Be right there. Excuse me. Um, excuse me. What is it? Do you sell boat tickets to Hong Kong here? Boat tickets? Yeah, we do. How much are they? Boat, boat... Uh, here it is. I'll take it. The sooner the better. You gotta pay up before I can arrange it. All right. Thank you. Excuse me. What? I'll take care of it. The ticket. Come back in three or four hours. All right. I'll be back in three or four hours then. Akasaka-san. Hi, Ryo. Ever heard of Asia Travel Company? Yeah. They've got cheap tickets, but you don't want to go there. 
to tell the truth, I got conned by them once. Why? See, I used them for a trip to go to buy some rare limited edition jeans. We arrived in New Orleans all right, but no hotel room was reserved for me and my transfer ticket was invalid. That's terrible. Don't use Asia Travel Company, no matter what. Uh, what can I do for you? What is it? Have you heard of Asia Travel Company? Asia Travel Company? You mean that place next to the vegetable stand? Uh-huh. Hey, you don't want to go there. I hear they are connected to the Chinese Mafia. To the Mafia? Yep. I hear it's not a safe place to go. I see. Help you? Yeah, Ryo Hazuki. I'm here for my ticket. Huh? What are you talking about? My Hong Kong ticket I've already paid. Paid who? The woman who... Woman? Don't know no woman. What? What kind of scam is this? We don't take kindly to accusations like that. You best learn some manners. Hey you, you'd better watch your mouth. I've had enough of this. I've already paid my money. Ah, uh, I understand. Allow me to sort this out. You'd better, or else. Yes, sir. I'll call you first thing tomorrow. <sighs> hey, Ryo-san. Fuk-san. Nozomi-san brought some flowers by today. Nozomi brought flowers? Yeah. Did you order them? No. Where are they? In the altar room. I see. Nozomi-san was nice enough to bring those flowers. Nozomi brought these? She even remembered what your father's favorite flowers were. Really? She's such a nice girl. Hello? Hazuki Dojo? Huh? Asia Travel Company? Okay, just a moment. Huh? Hello? It's Jimmy from Asia Travel. I've got your ticket. I'd like for you to come and pick it up. Please come to the U Arcade on Doguita at noon. Ryosa, what was that phone call about? The ticket to Hong Kong. Oh, I see. I'm going out. Oh, okay.
Huh? <laughs> Came for your Hong Kong ticket, did you? Yeah, <laughs> but you are not going to Hong Kong. <laughs> Do you work for Landy? Me? Work? For Landy Sama? <laughs> That's my dream! What do you want with me? You know about Julianda! Tell me all you know! Landy Sama hates Julianda, so I'll be rewarded for this information! <laughs> so you know about Landy? Just who the hell is he? I'll only tell you if you prove stronger than me. Jimmy's one of them. Jimmy. Who the hell is it? Hey. What's your problem? Damn! Stop! Oh, what? Ticket. I don't have it anymore! Cut the crap! Uh, I'm sorry! Whoa. I'm sorry! An employee ran off with the money! Please don't hurt me! I got a wife and kids! That's your problem. I still don't have the ticket I paid for! Here! Take this ticket to the Philippines. I don't need this. I'm planning to skip town tonight. See, I'm broke, bankrupt, cleaned out. I can't get no ticket anywhere. Quit lying. Ah! Who's that skinhead? I don't know for sure, but I think he's connected to the Mad Angels. Mad Angels? Uh, Where are they? I, I can't tell. They'll kill me. Tell me! The... the harbor... Who's their boss? I... I don't know, but they extort from the harbor workers. If you weren't there, you'd meet them. Why is that? Because they always harass the new guys. The harbor.
Ryo. Nozomi. What happened? Hmm? Something's happened, hasn't it? No. A fight? No, it's not that. Please, you gotta stay out of trouble. I'm fine. Yo, but what if something happened to you? Don't worry. Promise me you'll take care. Yeah, see you later. You're home. I was worried. I'm fine. So, how was it? Looks like there's no easy way to get to Hong Kong. Really? Oh... I'm so sorry I couldn't help more. I'm really ashamed. There must be something else I can do. It's okay, Fuxa. It's the thought that counts. Ryo-san... Excuse me. Huh? What is it? Do you know a place around here where I can get a job? A job? As a security guard or in cargo transport? Either one's fine. Well, why don't you visit the offices? The offices? There are security offices and trading offices. All right. I'll try going there. want a job here. What should I do? So want to be a sailor, hey? That's cool, man. Personally, it ain't for me. <laughs> I get seasick. <laughs> Enough. Whoa, 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 wait, hold up. I'll be man. I just happen to know a number of foremen in charge of cargo. Really? Hey, anything for you, bro? Can you ask? Ooh, well, mm. Okay, meet me at noon tomorrow in front of the big blue door of warehouse number one. 12 noon, warehouse number one, in front of the big blue door. Right on, bro. See ya. You a job, man? Really? Thanks. But you know, I had to go through quite a lot of hassle for you, though, bro. What you say? That'd be the job I found. Shut your lip, woman. Hello, Mai. Hi, Edyo. Hey! You two know each other. Airhead here asked me to find it for you. I'm always delivering lunch to Harbor Dorm, so I asked the foreman I know for you. Batting her little eyes like, oh, pretty please, Mr. Foreman, huh? Ow! So, where should I go? Be at the Alpha Trading Office by 2 p.m. Just ask for Yadasan. You have an appointment. 2 p.m., Yadasan, Alpha Trading Office. Thanks a lot. See ya!
Excuse me. What do you want? Are you Yara-san? Yeah, that's me. Maisa at the lunch stand mentioned me. Oh yes, Maya from the lunch stand. Yes, she did. Can you start right away? Yes. You, uh, ever drive a forklift? No, sir. Uh, well... Break something, it'll be deducted. Yes. Hey, Mark! Come here a sec! Okay, boss. Okay, Mark will take it from here. I see. Mark, show him how to drive the forklift. Okay, boss. Hello, I'm Ryo Hazuki. Hey, man, I'm Mark. I'm sure we'll get along just fine. Driving the forklift, it's easy. You'll get the hang of it real quick. Oh, okay. All aboard. Okay, you ready? Let's start your lesson. First turn the wheel either left or right. Good, that's it. Next, press the accelerator. Press the accelerator harder. Okay, good. Now back up. Different from accelerating. Yeah, that's it. Finally try raising and lowering the lift. No, that's the accelerator. Okay, not too bad. Now, you try moving that crate. Take that crate to warehouse number three, just there. First slide the fork under the crate. Then lift the crate and go. Easy, ain't it? Okay, now it's your turn. Place the crate within the grid marking the floor of the warehouse. Okay, for the rest of the day, you'll be training, all right? Take the rest of the crates to warehouse number three. Okay. I gotta get back to work, so finish the rest yourself. No problem. Gotta place these in the lines. for the day. Oh, good work. Thank you. You're getting used to the forklift. I suppose so. About your wage. You start at 300 yen per crate. There's a quota every day, so don't go slacking off. Yes, sir. If you do good enough, and meet quota, I'll give you a raise. I understand. Well, good luck. Thank you very much. Yo. Mark. I need you to come tomorrow at 9 a.m., okay? Yeah, sure. There's something we got to do before work. Before work? Really? Yeah, man. You'll see when you get here. Oh, and don't be late.
Okay. Excuse me. Huh? Do you know anything about the Mad Angels? The Mad Angels? You shouldn't get yourself involved in that stuff. You could get hurt. I see. Excuse me. Yes, what is it? Do you know anything about the Mad Angels? What business you got with those punks? Do you know of them? They ride around on motorcycles at night and set fire to the warehouses. Nasty delinquents. Can you tell me anything else? They always mess with the rookies who start working in the harbor. I hear some people who tried to fight back ended up at the hospital. You really ought to be careful, son. All right. Um, yes? Do you know anything about the Mad Angels? The Mad Angels? I don't know shit about them. Don't drag me into stuff like that. I see. <laughs> I told you to stay out of here, old man! <laughs> I'm gonna run you over! Uh, help! Somebody! Cut it out! Who the hell are you? Quit terrorizing him. Look at him! Talks like a goody-goody little shit. All right, then. We'll just play you. What? How about you race us? Motorcycle? A chicken race. You do know what that is, right? Okay, I'll play your little game. But if I win, you leave him alone. You give the signal. Start when this can hits the ground. Here we go! Take that! It's not fair! I'm just playing with you! Hey, you! <laughs> you jerk! I won! Damn! We won't forget this, boy! Goro. Yo, bro! You know about the Mad Angels? Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Working hard, eh, bro? Why are you shouting? Don't you know, bro? You don't say that name so loud! Why not? Just because! You know about the Mad Angels? Hey! Oh, bro! Didn't I ask you not to say that so loud? That kind of talk is taboo around here! Why? I ain't privy to say! I don't know what you're trying to find out about, but... But I wouldn't be as indiscreet as you're being if I's you! Oh, about the Mad Angels? I done told you, bro! Don't say that so loud! Extreme bad news, that gang! Really? See you around. You bet, bro! Good morning, everyone! Morning. Morning! Time for a daily warm-up race. You all do your best now. Yeah. yeah! Like always, three laps to the finish. Everybody ready? And don't go wrecking the forklifts or the formula have your ass. 
Yeah. yeah. On your mark. Almost time to go. Ready. Go. Finish. Oh man, so close, you almost had it. Here's your prize. Thanks. It's time for work. Let's get cracking. From today, welcome. I'll do my best. Time to get to work. Move these crates with the forklift. Where do I take them? Warehouse number 18. Here's the route map. The quota is written on the map. Read it carefully. If you exceed quota, you'll get a raise. Great. Just be sure you don't break anything. Okay? Lunchtime, eh? Hey, my lunch! You ratted us out, didn't you? Are you one of Chin's men? I don't know any Chin. Oh! Oh, really? I don't know. Oh. Hey, quit lying! Yeah! Cut it out! What? Who's this twin? We're gonna teach you a lesson! this. Thank you, Dio. Who were they? They were the Mad Angels. Why are the Mad Angels picking on you? They seem to think I'm working with one of their enemies. Somebody called Chen. But I don't know him. Master Chen and the Mad Angels. Okay, good job. Here's today's pay. Thanks. You met quota, son. So starting tomorrow, you'll get a 50 yen raise. That'll be 350 yen per crate. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Yes, thank you very much. You said you knew a lot about the harbor. Right on, my man! From the perfect mugging locale to the best spot to take a leak! This here harbor, Goro knows it all! So you know about the Mad Angels? Oh, uh, I... Speaking of taking a leak... Not so fast. Oh, man! 
Must have had me about eight this morning. Got to hit the can, my man. Oh, hope I can make it in time. Oh. So you know about them. Bro, that name. Please don't say it so loud. Why not? You get yourself fed to the fishes for talking about them, man. It's taboo around here. There's a rumor about some loudmouth kid who got himself concrete boots for talking. No way. Well, bro, I'm out of here. See you around. Yeah, later. You never know when to give up, do you? What do you want? I'm here to teach you a new move. Like that'll be real helpful. You couldn't even handle the Mad Angels, much less take on Landy. Shut up! Look, I don't need your help. Hey, fine by me. But it's wise to accept the goodwill of others. So, will it be? You are mine or not? Well, if you're so eager to teach me, okay. You could be more appreciative. First, I'll show you the form. Watch. One step back, shift your weight. While backing up, kick! This is called a swallow dive. Now you try it. That's fine. I see you've learned the basic form. I've got it now. You have yet to master the move. Perhaps you should practice more. Yeah, please. I'll watch, so give it a try. I think that's enough. Still want to continue? No, that's enough. Keep in mind, you've only learned the basic form. To properly utilize this move, you'll need to practice. Yes. And apply diligent training. Why teach me that move? You're intent on going to Hong Kong, right? Yeah. Even knowing that you may die? No matter what. So I thought. If I were you, I'd do the same. That's why.
<laughs> Been waiting for you. It's you. What are you doing here? Wanna pay you back for helping me out. Teach you something useful. Suppose I show you rather than tell you. Let's see you try and punch me. Me? Punch you? Quit your babbling and punch. You call that a punch? That'll be the famous Hazuki style. How do you know the Hazuki style? If you really want to know, give me your best shot. Okay then, here we go. Why am I missing? <laughs> this was a real fight. I had just crushed your throat. How did you do that? There's more to mastery than offense. Evasion without getting hit is an art in itself. My sensei used to call this move the Shadow Step. Shadow Step? So, how about it, son? Wanna learn it? Yes, please teach me. First off, show me that their basic Hazuki style stance. Alright. Hmm, that ain't too bad. Now come and do what I do. We'll see a step forward. Pull your arms in a slide real quick. Once you slide up behind, cut a blow to the neck like so. Now, start from your basic stance. Move your weight forward one step only. Something like that. As you step forward, get ready to dodge and throw. Now your turn. Your movement is not good enough. At the same time you dodge, you gotta throw. Too much power in your arms. Too much power in your arms. Too much power in your arms. Your movement is not good enough. At the same time you dodge, you gotta throw. Hmm, right nice. You're a quick study. Thank you very much. Got that touch you do. How about a bit more practice? Okay, sure, why not? Well, I'ma watch ya. Go on and show me. Alright. Hmm, that enough for ya? Wanna keep going? Okay, sure, why not? Well, I'ma watch ya. Go on and show me. Alright.
Hmm, that enough for ya? Wanna keep going? No, I think I'm alright. Thank you for the instruction. Well, don't go forgetting to practice every day. Perhaps we'll meet again. Please wait. How do you know about the Hazuki style? The Hazuki name's known amongst martial artists. The style of Iwao Hazuki is revered by many, including me. Quite popular in spite of being so young he was. My father? If you knew that move, why not use it that day? Mm. No sense in fighting. Sometimes uh, a clean getaway is also victory. <laughs> need practice in the day, try warehouse number four. Sometimes I'll be there myself. Be sure and practice daily. Mind if I ask you something? What is it? Could you translate this for me? A Chinese martial arts scroll. The stab armor is a palm blow that utilizes the body's power. Take one step forward and two steps back, and then tense your limbs. The resulting impact is capable of penetrating armor. Powerful enough to fell a fierce tiger in one hit. It's a different style from mine, so it's not clear. But if you remember what I read while practicing, perhaps you could master it. Really? I have work to do. Thanks. Sorry to bother you. Guys. What the hell are you doing here? Children shouldn't play around with forklifts. You might get hurt, you know. Ha! Move it. You hurt us, you're fired. Ha! Nice taxi you got here. Take me on home, okay? Get a move on. Whatever.
Hey, cut it out! Joke's on you, schoolboy! That's it. You're mine. It's showtime! Number 17. Number 17? Yeah, at the back of the warehouse. You lying? If you don't believe me, go see for yourself. <coughs> <coughs> You okay? Oh, yeah, I'm all right. No problem. Oh, oh. careful. So, looking for your brother? Yeah, my only brother. He's about your age. But now, he's probably at the bottom of the sea. Killed by the Mad Angels. Why would the Mad Angels kill your brother? It appears he may have leaked some important information. Is that why they... Probably. At least as far as I could tell, only one person was killed. So you're not sure? Was the guy who heard the information killed? Or my brother, the one who leaked it? Oh yeah, Dill. I heard the information was about a black market deal. With some Chinese cartel. A Chinese cartel? The Chiyu men? Um... What is it? I heard about this gang in the harbor called the Mad Angels. Uh, I know who you mean. Do you know anything about them? Sure, that they're real annoying jerks. You know those morons dump garbage into the sea? On top of that, shouting something about some shipment coming in soon. I really wish they'd keep it down. I see. No, that's okay. Don't be shy. Stand there. Here we go. Both of you get in closer. Smile. That's it. Here goes. Which do you want? Yo?
Oh, this one. Okay, this one's yours, and this one's Nozomi's. They're keepsakes. What's with her? I... I'm going to Canada. What? I took a while to decide, but... Hey, if it's what you've decided, it's what you've decided. Ryo, don't do anything stupid. Of course I won't. I'll always treasure this. Ryo, take care of yours too. I will. I'll come back when I'm on vacation. Sure. Bye then, Ryo. Nozomi. Long time no see. This is the guy who's been sniffing around us like a dog? Looks like we're gonna have to run this stray off now. I'm gonna get him. So bad, punk. Why you? But your time's up. You wish. No one takes on the mad angels in this harbor and lives to tell about it. It's the bottom of the sea for you. Get him. your face. Chinese big shot leaving here soon. Uh, big shot? Yeah, they had me arrange a cruiser to take him out to a big ship offshore. What's his name? Uh, I don't know, but I hear he wears some silk robe thing with a dragon on it. Landy, he's still around here. Please, I beg you, don't tell anyone I told you. 
They'll kill me! Excuse me. What? If you know anything about the Mad Angels, please tell me. Are you Udio Hazuki from Alpha Trading? Yeah. Someone asked me about you. Who was it? They looked like a couple of thugs to me. Is that so? Thank you. Goro, what happened? I was just walking with that silly guy. He... Hey, schoolboy, come on! <laughs> you! Oh, bro! <laughs> hey, over here! <laughs> Wait! He's coming? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, I took the bait! So you showed, eh? You guys again. What's your problem? Let it be you. Hey, boy! Ah. Oh, no! Hey, no escape, boy! You're gonna pay for beating up Goro. You his girlfriend? What did you say? Best watch your back. Next time it won't be just you. What? We're gonna go after your family and friends. Gonna get them. That's it. Oh. Can I ask you something? What is it? Could you translate this for me? A scroll, and it's in Chinese. Oh, fierce tiger, thou art ruler of the forest, the bravest of character. As tranquil as the most majestic of mountains, as swift as a bolt of lightning, as violent as an earthquake jolting the great earth. Show no mercy, with twin fangs strike, and rush up Moon Mountain. Striking fear in all, nary a soul challenge thee. It's a secret poetry. Secret? To maintain secrecy, the technique is written in poetry form. Only one who's received the master's verbal instruction can understand its meaning. Why did my father have it? No idea. But I'd assume if he had the scroll, then he received instruction from the original master. My father? I'd hold on to this. Perhaps someday you will meet the master who wrote this. Thanks. Sorry to bother you. Hey, Dio. I overheard some information. Information? I heard them all whispering something about Long Jia. That is soon. Long Jia? Best I can figure, it's some Mad Angels black market deal. Makes sense, they've been on edge lately. Long Jia. When's it supposed to happen? Mark. Dio, I got some big news. Huh? I overheard Tony and Smith saying that a Long Jia is going down soon. Really? When's it gonna happen? Maybe within the next few days. I see. Be careful, Dio. Yeah, you too, eh? No problem. I'm cool, but I'm worried about you, Dio. The date of the Long Jia. Someone must know. Yeah, but finding out ain't gonna be easy. To them, it's like a really big deal, you know? Maybe the only option is to ask them directly. Well, maybe, but Dio... Believe me, I know. 
but I'm prepared to take the risk. Dio. Hey, mister. Oh, youngin, it's you. I heard about you. Here you're after the mad angels. Yes. I know you want revenge, but... If something happened to you, how about the Hazuki tradition? But I... No buts, boy. If no one were left to carry on... Oh, what a shame that'd be. I will show you another move. Hmm? What's that move? It's called the cross charge. Just at the moment you evade, slam into your opponent's side. When you're up against multiple opponents, they can all gang up on you, you know. This move is perfect for times like that. Thank you very much. Um, excuse me. Can I help you? Do you know anything about some deal the Mad Angels are making? Don't know about stuff like that. I see. Hey, wait a minute. Come to think of it, I did see me a couple of foreigners snooping around. They looked mighty suspicious to me. Maybe they got something to do with it. Suspicious looking foreigners? A pair? Excuse me. What is it? Have you heard about some deal the Mad Angels are arranging? Well, I wouldn't know about that, you know. So you haven't seen any of them around? Nope, but I saw a couple of sailors acting kind of suspicious. The harbor is full of all kinds of sailors, don't you know? Where did you see them? Over by the harbor lounge. My Goro? Bro, me, I'm gonna settle down and go straight. Gets me a real job, work hard and marry her. Marry? But she's too young. Don't you know, Ryo? Girls can get married from 16. But to Goro? Well, Goro, he's not so bright, but he's got a heart of gold. Yeah, but Goro... <laughs> well, bro, be seeing you around. See ya. It's them. Got a question. You know about the long jaw? What? What did you say? You know. I don't know. Hey. Hey, wait. What? See ya, boy. Ah. Hey, Bob, help. I'll get rid of him. Take the ladder! Okay! Ha. Watch it, yeah. idiot! Ha. You! Oh. the long jaw I, I don't know I'll break your arm stop I ain't lying only the mad angels boss knows who is the boss 
Ah! It's t t Terry! Terry? Please! Don't tell no one! I told you! Or, or they'll kill me! Please! Where is he? I, I don't know! Terry's real careful! Even I don't know where he's at! <sighs> Got your pay. Here. Thank you. No, oh, wait. Yes? Someone came to see you earlier. Really? Yes, a young man in a suit. He asked me to give this to you. Thanks. Hmm? The mad angels are after you. Beware. Guizan. Ah, the long jaw. Maybe Master Chin knows about it. Hazuki. Master Chin, is Landi coming for the long jaw? Why do you know about Long Jia? I got it out of the Mad Angels. So, is Landi coming? Landi has nothing to do with the Long Jia. Only the lowest Chiyo men members are involved. But Terry and his gang have arranged transport for Landi to. He's acting as a guide for Landi so as to ingratiate himself with the Chiyo men. Terry and his gang already know about you. and that you're trying to stop the long jaw. The items we deal in are expensive. Paintings, calligraphy, antiques, gems. Terry's gang deals in contraband. The next big shipment is drugs. If they get established, our market will be destroyed. If our trade route is disturbed, it will cause trouble for us in China. So, now you see. Go home before you get hurt. I can't do that. Someone as young as you should not be involved. Tell me when the long jaw is. I cannot tell you. But if you can be patient and listen to my counsel, no harm will come to you. Father! As written in the letter to his father, I'm bound by my promise to Ju Yuanda. I will hear no more of this today. Very well. I'll back off for now. Your father would not have wanted you to throw your life away so senselessly. I should go out and get some fresh air. Were you just with Nozomi-san? No. Something happened to her? Well, Aida-san just phoned. And it seems Nozomi-san hasn't come home. What? Nozomi-san said she was meeting you. Aida-san said she can't reach Nozomi-san. Hello, it's Ryo. <laughs> Terry's waiting. Who is this? Here, meet us behind warehouse number 17. No, Ryo, it's a trap. Nozomi. If you don't show, I'll make her cry. <laughs> don't you dare touch her. I'll give you four hours, or else, behind warehouse number 17. <laughs> Ine-san, I gotta go. Duo-san.
If I don't leave Dobuita by three, I'll never make it. The buses have stopped running. Now what do I do? Um, sorry to disappoint you. I'm really too sleepy now. I'm really tired. I see. Saijo-san, what? Can you lend me a motorcycle? Hang on there. What? Calm down now. How can I be calm now? A motorcycle, huh? If that's what you're looking for, your friend has one, right? Now, Yuki, that's it. Yes, who is it? It's real. Ah, Ryo-chan, just a moment. Hey, Ryo, what's up? I need a favor. Oh, sure, come on in. Can't, I'm in a hurry. Can I use your motorcycle? My motorcycle, sure. Cash. Thanks. Don't drive too fast. I won't. Later. Looks like we got a rat, eh? What? The king of the harbor don't like rats. Like a sewer rat, always sniffing around. Think we'd just let you pass? Nozomi. What's your hurry? Have some fun with us. Got you now. Enough. Oh, Terry, let me have some fun. I haven't had enough fun yet. Hey, you play with him. Uh, that's okay. I'm cool. Oh, no, Rio. Nozomi. Are you alright? 
Yes, I'm sorry, I... It's okay. It's all my fault. Yeah, it's all your fault. So you're Terry. <laughs> you're the tough little schoolboy, huh? Here you messed up some of my boys pretty good. If I let you go, schoolboy, it sets a bad example. <laughs> You're the one trying to get information about the long jaw. You're either real brave or you're real stupid. I'm taking Nozomi home. Sure, you can, but it's gonna cost you. What? My deal is, you gotta beat up Jin's son. Make it so he can't walk. Kuizong? Ah, uh, so you know him, huh? Why him? He's in my way. Your way? As long as Chen's around, we won't be able to gain total control of the Hong Kong route. Is it a deal? All right. Rio, don't! But one more condition. Oh, yeah? It ain't enough to get the girl back. You take me to Land D. <laughs> this kid's got a death wish. He's got some screws loose. <laughs> what do you say? I know you're the one that guided Land D. Well, there's more to school, boy, than meets the eye. You take me to Land D, then it's a deal. Phew. Fine by me, but only after you take out Guiza. Don't forget! Hey, I ain't no street punk. When Terry of Yakoska speaks, he means what he says. I'm taking her home. Fine. Let's go. Thanks for saving me. Hmm. But I won't let this go.
Tom, hey, Ryo, working hard at the harbor today, eh? Yeah. What's wrong? You seem kind of blue. No, I'm all right. Okay, tell you what. You come on by later and let me treat you to lunch, okay? Young man, have a seat. Sure. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to ask you to resign. Am I fired? Yeah, I'm afraid so. Why? Uh, you see, there's been a mess of trouble since you started. Now, I know it ain't all your fault, but, well... And? When trouble starts affecting my company, that's a problem. You know what I mean. Yes, I understand. Thank you for everything. Mm. Hey, Rio! Tom. It's cold. I'll get you some coffee, okay? I don't feel like coffee today. Hey, Rio, look! Tom, what was that leg move? A friend taught me this. It's a tornado kick. You want me to teach you. Yeah, teach me. Okay, it's your lucky day. First, the music. <laughs> 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 First, I'll teach you the steps. You watch carefully, okay? Step forward, step again, then kick, okay? Very simple, okay? First, try the steps. You take two steps toward me, okay? Okay, man, nice steps. Next, after the second step, kick! Now, Rio, you try it, okay? Okay, very good! Pretty good for the first time! But that's just like you, Rio! Thanks, Tom. No, no, no! This is how it's done, okay? Hmm? Two steps forward, then! First and kick. second kick. This is the real tornado kick. Now, Rio, you try it, okay? Yeah, perfect. You got the rhythm now. Thanks, Tom. The tornado kick is very powerful, okay? This kick is perfect for when you're surrounded by multiple opponents. Do you want to practice longer? Yeah, teach me. Okay! Let's keep at it! That should about do it. You want to continue? No, that's okay. Oh, 
Okay, you mastered the leg move great. You're a good teacher, Tom. Thanks. What's wrong? Um, I got something I need to tell you, Ryo. Tell me what? Tomorrow, I go back to America. What? All of a sudden? Not suddenly. I've been planning to for a while. Tom. Ryo, why are you going on your trip? Uh, I... I bet it has something to do with your father. Yeah, I thought so. Me? I'm going back to my home. And you'll be leaving soon too. Nobody can stop you. Tom. Even though we part ways, you'll still be one of my best friends. You're mine too. Today is the last day for Tom's hot dogs. Get them while you can. Yeah, I'll have one. My friend... Tom. I'm here. You sure got guts coming here. This way, follow me. Wait here. Is Guizong coming here? He passes through here, on his way home from work. Hmm. Here he comes. I'm out of here. Azuki, why are you here? Guizan, I want to fight you. What? What are you talking about? Ready? What? Guizar, <laughs> pretend to lose. Say what? Terry will take me to Land D. You dressed up punk like Terry? Serious. You aren't? You're on! Bring it on! <sighs> All right, Hazuki. Well, come on! You know, you're not too bad. Uh, nor you. It's my lucky day. I'll get rid of both of you at one time. Besides!
<laughs> All right, Hazuki. Well, come on. You know, you're not too bad. Uh, nor you. It's my lucky day. I'll get rid of both of you at one time. Just as I suspected. Hey, can you move? Uh, let's settle our dispute later. You're on. That's low, Terry. I will make you pay. <laughs> you like me that much? Let me invite you to hell. Wait! <sighs> Is Trouble your middle name? Save your complaints for later. Fine. Watch yourself. You too. This one is mine. This who the hell you think you're dealing with? I'll take this. Gotta learn to fight fair. Never give up to you. Tell me! That creepy skinhead, he took him out to the ship. What? Too bad, huh? You, you want him that bad? You better start swimming. Damn. <laughs> After all that, still didn't get Landy. You're going after him? Well, I just can't give up. But how can I? I'll talk to my father. Hmm? I'll ask my father to help you out. Really? Contact me later, okay? Guizan. What? Thank you. No. That's my line. Your son! Hmm? 
here, it's for you. From Ine-san, and it's not much, but from me. Oh, uh, Fuxa. Take care, and come back in one piece. Your foolishness knows no bounds, eh? Thank you for arranging my trip to Hong Kong. Thanks to you, the long jaw was thwarted. It was the least I could do. Thank you very much. You're too reckless. It worries me, so... I'm going with you. What do you mean? I cannot allow you to go alone. Besides, we also need to know what Lan Di is doing. That's the gist of it. The diving swallow style should be useful on your journey. 
What? A style from the Hebei Province in use since the Song Dynasty. I will teach you its most sacred move, the Swallow Flip. Hui Xiang. Yes. You utilize your opponent's attack to flip them. First, I will explain the basic form. Watch closely. You take one step backwards to parry the opponent's attack. Then focus power in your arms to throw your opponent off balance. Immediately kick their legs out and flip. In actual combat, you'd strike here. The throw alone won't incapacitate your opponent. First, try to execute the proper form. Shift your weight while taking one step back. So you've acquired the form. Next, as you drop, use your arms to throw your opponent off balance. Well then, give it a try. You're putting too much force in your legs. There's no power in your arms. You're putting too much force in your legs. I was correct in my judgment of you. You have superb talent. But to truly master the swallow flip, you must be able to anticipate your opponent's attack. Guizhang, spar. What? Practice is required to master the attack quickly. You must attack him in earnest. I will. Begin. Well executed. You have more ability than I thought. No, sir. You're a superior instructor. This technique works best when you can anticipate your opponent's attack. Do you wish to practice further to master the timing of the attack? Yes, please. Very well. Gui Zhang. Yes. You're putting too much force in your legs. It seems you've learned the attack. Yes. This technique works best when you can anticipate your opponent's attack. Do you wish to practice further to master the timing of the attack? No, thank you. I think I can manage now. Very well. Then there is nothing more that I can do. I am in your debt. You're going? Yes. Look out! Quisan! Behind you! You're not going to Hong Kong because the Great Chai will defeat you! <laughs>
What are you doing here? Where's Landy? Uh, the Landy Sama is sailing the sea on a ship bound for Hong Kong. So, Landy's already left for Hong Kong. about my son. At the moment, I don't know where Ju Yuenda is. Instead, I will introduce you to someone I know can be trusted. Tao Li Shou, one of Hong Kong's elder masters. The address is in there. Thank you very much.
Nozomi. Oh, Ryo. I scared you? No, just spooked. You know, it's kind of funny. Funny? See, I was just making a wish for you. And you suddenly appeared. A wish for me? You are going to Hong Kong, aren't you? How did you know? I finally made Fukusan tell me. You've been so preoccupied lately. Is that so? I won't stop you. I know you well enough to know I can't. Here, take this amulet. I'm hoping it will keep you safe. At least that's what I've been wishing and willing it to do. Nozomi. I'm so glad I was able to give it to you. I've been so busy lately. Getting ready to return to Canada, I... Oh yeah, you're leaving for Canada soon. I gotta go home. Yeah, well, be careful. Okay. We're both leaving Japan. I wish we had more time. He comes from a far eastern land, across the ocean. A young man who has yet to realize his own potential. This potential is a power that can both destroy him, as well as ensure his will is realized. Perhaps he will achieve the balance that will mark him a man of courage. The path he must traverse is fraught with adversity and filled with expectations. I await whilst praying for the realization of this destiny predetermined since ancient times. A pitch black night unfolds with morning star as its only light. And thus, the saga begins.